I'm testing out the new lock-in amplifier and I've got this little setup a couple of microphones into phantom power one goes into the lock-in one goes into the audio analyzer and the output of the lock-in is driving that little speaker right there with a volt right now the marker is the two kilohertz tone if I shut up the averaging pulls it out of the noise um, and the lock-in has locked onto it here and you can you can hear it a little if I get close if I adjust it up and back down but the idea with the lock-in is that I can bring this voltage down quite a bit and still be able to see it so if I go to half a volt let's say You can still see the tone on the spectrum, at least when I'm not talking. And the lock-in still got it. But how about less than that? The 2 kilohertz tone is almost in noise there. It's a little too low, but the lock-in still has it pretty good. At least it did before I messed with it. There we go. However, we can drop it even further. And now it's in the noise. It's entirely in the noise of the audio analyzer that if you can see the marking there is actually a pretty good one. That's a very low noise figure. And we've still got two and a half meters maybe between the mic, which is almost inaudible. Yeah, I can still hear it just a little bit over the instrument noise. But Lockin still got it. And we can go even further. Let's go to 30 millivolts, which is just above the minimum I can hear if I hold the speaker up to my ear. Give it a second to settle. we still got a signal and I can prove it because if I take those 30 millivolts away there's no lock so even over two and a half meters of air with audibly noisy fans from this equipment 30 millivolts on that tiny crappy speaker is measurable, even though it's in the noise of the very nice, very low noise audio amplifier, uh, analyzer. Pretty neat.